Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together this very adorable up house with color matching balloons that detach from the page so your child can try to line up the correct balloon in the right color. I use magnets, but I actually suggest you use Velcro dots for this one. As you can see, the house detaches from the page and reattaches with Velcro. And then I also included a really cute little Mr. Fredrickson and the little boy Russell from the movie if you wanted to add those to the activity page as well. I am super happy with how it turned out. It turned out so cute. So I hope your kids love playing with it. As always, if you make this activity or any activity, please, please send me pictures. I love seeing them. Your books turn out amazing. They are always so cute. And one more thing before you get started, you'll notice in this video, I did not film myself cutting out all of the template as I usually do because I cut it out at different times during the day. So you know where to go. Head on over to my website and you can print off that free template for the up balloon house activity page. Okay, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, I'm working on getting all the pieces cut out, but I just want to pause and mention that in the template, as you go through and you see these yellow pieces with these little gray spots beside them, those gray spots are going to be windows. And I've designed it in the template to pair it with the window that they will be placed on top of. So these two gray pieces will be glued onto this piece. So just make sure as you're cutting, you place those gray pieces next to the yellow ones that you cut out so that you don't lose track of which one goes where. Okay, let's keep cutting. I've got all the pieces for the house cut out. And the first thing I'm gonna glue is I'm gonna take that gray rooftop and I'm gonna glue that over top of my blue outline. Next, I'm gonna glue this pink piece right on about here. And next I'm going to take this yellow piece and I'm going to glue it right on top of the, for the roof here. And we can glue on this small yellow piece for the rooftop. Next I'm going to glue on this blue peak here. And then I'm going to glue on this red piece right here. That is going to be a chimney. And you can glue that little dark piece right at the top. That's the chimney top. And then the other blue peak is going to glue right over top of that. And then I'm going to glue this yellow piece and this dark brown piece. This is the door. I'm going to glue those down right at about this location. Next, I'm going to glue on this orange piece, which is the porch. I'm going to only glue down the edge of this orange piece and the very bottom, and then I'm going to glue the top part. Next, I'm going to take this green piece and glue it right down about here. I've already gone ahead and glued on all of my gray rectangles onto my yellow pieces. Those act as windows. So one of the smaller windows goes up top here and over here at the porch. The biggest window goes up here at the yellow peak. And I'm also going to glue this piece on right underneath that yellow. <gasps> oh no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. This is gonna come off, come off, come off, come off. Don't dry, don't dry, don't dry. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I just made a mistake. The biggest piece of yellow is supposed to go down here. The smaller one is supposed to go up here. So I've just peeled mine off. So the biggest piece of yellow with the gray goes on the green part as part of the bay window. And this smaller one goes up here. But first I gotta try to peel off some of my glue. Oh, great. Okay, fix that. And then you can glue these two side pieces at the bottom here for the bay window. And this last little green piece just goes underneath there. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and there we have the house from up all done. Now that the house is all done, the next thing I want to do is the balloons. I've already finished all of them except one. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm taking a piece of suede cord, or you can just use regular rope if you don't have suede cord. And I'm gluing that onto the balloon. And then I'm going to take these little refrigerator magnets. They're just these really tiny circular magnets that I have. And I'm going to place it in the center of one of the balloons and just apply glue all the way around and glue it so that that magnet is right in the center. Now, once I've got all of my balloons set up and placed where I want them to go, I'm just freehand cut out these circles that match all the colors of the balloon. Okay, where I want the pink balloon to go, I'm going to take one of my magnets and glue it around it. I'm going to place that matching piece just right over top so that the magnet just sits right in the center and you can see how the balloon will attach right onto there. Okay, I am done with gluing all my magnets and my colors into place. And as always, I am using a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter sheet of felt for this page. The next thing I want to do is I want to get these strings attached to the house. So once you have them placed where you want, I'm going to kind of gather them together 
and I'm going to have them glued right in the center of the house and right about there. Just disregard what I just said, that was a lie. Don't gather them together and glue them in one spot like I did because guess what ended up happening? They all end up clinging together and getting tangled up when I detached it. Instead, glue your balloons a f about an inch apart all across the back of your house. When you spread them apart this way, it makes it really easy to make sure that they're not getting tangled. I hadn't really thought of how they will snap together. If you think that might bother your child, I would suggest just using Velcro for the balloons. And what I think I'm gonna do is I have cut out another piece of the back of the house and I'm just gonna glue that right on top to hide all of the mess that I made. Okay, there we have it. One thing I also wanted to mention that I had to cut out of the video is that I did add these Velcro dots at the end of the house so that when your child is not playing with it, they can attach it to the page with that Velcro dot. Again, I do recommend not going with seven balloons, maybe go with five balloons and then just glue the rest of the colors directly onto the page just to avoid any tangles. But yeah, that turned out super cute. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and get the pieces for the characters cut out. I'm going to start with Mr. Fredericton, I think is his name, the old man. All of these pieces are for him and the rest of these pieces here are for the boy. Wow, cutting out these little pieces is definitely a special kind of torture. Okay, and we're going to cut out three of these little tennis balls, which will be glued onto the bottom of his cane. Okay, for all of you people out there who stuck it out with me and cut out all those tiny little pieces, I am sorry and I salute you. Let's go ahead and finish what we started and get this glued down anyways. I'm going to start with gluing these three little tennis balls onto the bottom of his cane. Okay, the next thing I want to get glued down is the face and the ears and the hands and the two brown shoes. So I'm going to get all those little tiny pieces glued in place. Okay, then I'm going to glue on his hair. And then some way, somehow, by some miracle, you're going to glue on those glasses without burning your fingers. Next, I'm going to glue down his pants. Oh, you know what? I screwed up. I should have glued his jacket on before his head and his head should have come down and covered the jacket. Okay, I'm going to cut a little nook out of that jacket so that it shows his face. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue on his pants first. I'm gonna take that jacket, which I cut the little section out of to make room for his face. Really, this jacket should have been glued on before that face, but I screwed that one up. And then I'm gonna glue his shirt on and his little brown belt. I'll glue those down in their places. And then I'm gonna glue on his bow tie. And last but not least, I'm gonna glue his cane onto the back of his hand there. Okay, now let's draw some details on his face and jacket. I'm just going to extend the arms here so that the arms are defined. And I'm also going to draw his pant legs. And I'm going to draw a few buttons going down his shirt. He has a very big pronounced nose. So I'm going to outline a nose here. And his classic non-smile. And his little eyes as well. Wow, okay, that was a bit torturous, but he turned out adorable. All right, let's go ahead and make the little boy wrestle. I imagine all of you have probably turned this video off at this point. Hey, if any of you are still there, comment below if you were a trooper and you made it to this point in the video. Let's get those pieces cut out onto our felt. I'm gonna start with gluing down his hat and let's glue down his shorts. Glue down this little tiny white strip. I'm gonna glue that down by his ankles. That's supposed to be socks. And then I'm going to glue this skinny brown strip, the dark brown strip. I'm going to try to glue that kind of over top of the socks so that it just shows a little bit of white sticking out above it. Okay, next I'm going to glue his shirt in place. It's supposed to look as if he is saluting with one arm and then the other arm is tucked behind his back. So there should be a little bit of skin colored felt sticking out from the side there. Alrighty, then I'm going to glue his collar on and his very sweet little smile. Then I'm going to glue his hair on. And this last little brown rectangle, that's going to be glued on the back for his backpack. You can draw the details on. I'm just going to draw a little line between the legs and draw on some eyes. And there we have our wrestle. You know, it was torture making these two, but dang, they turned out cute, didn't they? All right, and there we have it all together with Mr. Fredrickson and Russell in the house floating up, up, and away. I'm going to tuck them into that porch there. And there you have it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed making this one and I hope your kids absolutely love it, especially after all your patience that you must have had making these two guys. It turned out really cute though and I'm really happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.